is it on? Sorry, I just had to get my <laughs> string to speak. On the 25th of March last year, I got up at five o'clock in the morning thinking I was gonna have a fab day in Albert Park with some amazing women and a few noisy people who didn't wanna hear what we had to say. I worked my socks off with the support of Manawahini and I coordinated with the New Zealand police who said they were my friend and they were supporting me. And I turned up at Albert Park waiting to greet the police. They never turned up. They were too busy down the other end of the park doing hugs and kisses with old Chanel, the man in the pink suit, who, to his credit, came and had a chat to me, assured me that I would be safe and nothing was untoward was going to happen. That was amongst so many lies I heard that day and the days that followed. And this man got championed, his sweaty self, in his pink, crumpling suit, as a young person of the year in New Zealand. What a way to make an award, the most useless award you would ever want to get. It's like a two year. So that day started out and I looked around me and there was some music playing and I was dancing and I really didn't care about the crowd until it started getting so large and so frightening and the police still didn't come. I rang the police on their direct numbers to the men in charge that day 14 times and they returned not a call. And the only text message I got was to tell me they're a bit busy, you know where I am, come out and see me. So I fought my way through this mob of violent people and went out to see the policeman who told me, sorry Dale, we're not here to protect you. If you want any protection, you need to bring the women out. And we all have to know, because we've seen Simon Anderson's footage, that the women were surrounded by violent men in dresses, grannies that looked like they were the golden girls, and some virtue signaling politicians who wouldn't even know what a woman is, herding everyone in to attack us. And I was attacked. I was attacked five times that day. I was thrown around like a rag doll. It didn't get caught on camera, because I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not a lot bigger than the stand. They picked me up, they threw me around, they scratched me. A really large man, half my age, twice my size, who turned up with a handler wearing body armor, shoved me and crushed my foot. I was unable to walk for six weeks. I was in A&E the following day and I suffered from acute PTSD. And today, even being here in what is my city, and I'm not going fucking home. This is my city. I am a woman. And I went that day not to speak, but to support any woman that wanted to speak. And what happened? Did we get silence? We got more than fucking silence, people. We got attacked. And we got attacked, and then the politicians came out and said what a grand day it was. And mainstream media said it was a mostly friendly crowd. Well, fuck me, I'd hate to be in a violent crowd. That's all I'm saying. These people have lost track of reality. If you cannot stand in a public space and proclaim you are a woman, and protect children and our rights without being attacked and the police looking the other way and then pretending to be the heroes, this country is in anarchy. I am so happy that New Zealand First have a seat at the table because they at least 
and listening. When midwives can't even say women give birth, when we have to roll over because a man thinks he's a woman, no woman has a fucking penis. No child is born in the wrong body. And the Greens and Labour, Auckland City Council and every other virtue signalling, singling, singling, sorry, cunt, needs to pay attention. So if you think it's funny to hit a woman, and then the police go, that's all right, because I don't know if you've noticed how big I am, I'm gonna say it again. But the man that hit me was six foot two, maybe more, weighed twice my weight and threw me. And the only reason I didn't hit the rocks on the bottom of the rotunda was because there were enough humans in front of me to catch me. So I hope one day Posey Parker will come back to New Zealand and we will stand proudly with her and we will tell the world we're not frightened of you anymore. And Philippa Landy will be able to return to her supermarket in Otaki wearing whatever the bloody hell she likes. And if it says men are not women, even if you squint, she'll still be served with a smile and she won't be trespassed. Anyway, I'm feeling quite um, loud. I am loud. <laughs> but I just want to thank Di Landy, who has been my strength, the woman I never met before the 25th of March, who stepped up, took my calls at midnight, two in the morning, for an hour, two hours, when I was in a dark, dark place, feeling like the whole world was going to take my life away from me. When people that I thought were my friends were my enemies, and now I know who my friends are, and those people are people that stand with reality. And so I'm gonna, I need Di to come over and do Māori order thing because I don't do that, so I need you to do that. Oh, and uh, Māori order. Thank you, Linda.